This is another uh, used radio going up for sale. Used, of course, not abused. But it does have some scratches on top of the cabinet here. Uh, sale is for the radio only. It will come with a regular power cord. Although, I do recommend either getting yourself a power cord like one of these whenever I have them available. Or making one yourself. That's 8-gauge OFC. This is just a factory rinky-dink power cord. So this is what it'll come with. But... Um, hopefully have some more of these heavy duty cords available here pretty soon for everybody. Uh, that being said, Stryker 9, or 955, 655, it is a version 2 by the vents in the back, you can tell. If there's any ever doubt, you can take the covers off and you got the board that comes to about right here versus on a version 1, it goes all the way back. So, we will uh, test this guy, see how it does. Again, this is one I got on trade, pretty nice radio. Uh, we'll be testing it at 14.8 volts. And again, this is the heavy duty uh, OFC power cord on here, 8 gauge OFC. So, geez Louise. Let's, let's test our receive first so we can turn that uh, Cobra 90 off so we're not feeding back to it. All right, there's your receive test, receiving like we would expect it to. Audio, one, two, one, two, three. Audio, audio. And your power indicator on the front of the radio. Audio check. One, one, two. Audio. So talkback is working. Uh, Echo is working, of course. See how much current we're drawing. We've got the RF power at about two o'clock. Hello, audio. Audio. So five and a half amps. Let's turn that talkback off there. Uh, we got a 100 watt slug in here, so we'll test average power and peak power. So we'll do average first. That's the peak kit's turned on, so let's do turn that off. Okay, so 20 watts at one o'clock. Oh, oh, yeah, swinging 30 average. Oh, yeah, 30 swinging 35 average wide open. Let's go back to 12 o'clock. Oh, oh, 18 swinging about 28 average, nine o'clock. Oh, nine swinging about 20. Or about seven o'clock. Oh, oh, yeah. And that's where they've got it cut back to. Six watts all the way down. Now, you can go into the menu and change that if you want to go on the service menu. There's an AM power high and an AM power low. I do believe that's what they're listed at. And you can change it in there if you want to. Um... Or if you buy this and you want me to change it, that's fine. I can do that before I ship it out. This is your PEP power. Audio, one, two, three. Audio, one, two, three. Audio. Check, check, check. Audio. Audio. Showing almost 100 PEP. If we turn our RF power wide open. Check, 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 check. Audio, 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 audio. Again, that's on AM. So, well, and it only has AM. <laughs> I'm so used to checking out these 955s, I was about to want to test this thing on sideband, but uh, of course that's not going to happen, AM only, on the uh, on the 655. Uh, for anybody wondering, that's the only difference in the two radios, uh, 955, sideband, 655, AM and FM, of course, only, so uh, they sound about the same, do about the same power, just uh, the resale value would probably be a little higher on a 955 because it has sideband. And, of course, if you're somebody that talks on sideband, uh, kind of a mandatory thing for you. But that's it. Nice uh, little 655 version 2 here. We'll make somebody a deal on it. Again, sale is for the radio and the uh, rinky-dink power cord only. I don't really recommend running this with it, guys. It'll work on this, but you're going to see a steep decrease in power. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a little bit rougher on the radio. It's going to be kind of starving it. So that's my thoughts. Appreciate it, everybody. Rooster in Tennessee, roostercb.com. This one will be up for sale under used equipment and specials. See you guys. Bye-bye.